Hello! Today I'm going to be making sweet potato pie, a classic Thanksgiving dessert. So if it's Thanksgiving and you need to make this dish, or if you just want to make it because you like sweet potato pie, here's the recipe for you. Now our first step is going to be boiling a pound of sweet potatoes for 40 to 50 minutes. Now a pound of sweet potatoes is typically one large sweet potato, or two smaller ones. Uh, just measure it on a scale at your local grocery or wherever you're buying it. We also need a stick of butter or half a cup. So get it out and let it thaw while you're boiling your sweet potato. Get a large pot of water, enough to cover your sweet potato entirely. Put it on your stove and set it over high heat. You know, just boil water like you would for any other recipe. Now we're going to wait for this to boil and we're going to throw in our sweet potato. You might be asking, why are we keeping the skin on? Shouldn't we peel it and throw it in? We are going to peel it, but we're going to boil it with the skin on first for 40 to 50 minutes. Then we're going to run cold water over it and then peel it. So let your water boil and then throw this in for 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, now that the water is at a nice slow boil, just slowly slip in your sweet potato. Okay. I'm going to turn mine around a little bit just to make sure it's covered with water completely. Okay, and now I'm just going to let it sit in there as it boils for 40 to 50 minutes or until done. Uh, I'm going to go for 45 50 just to be on the safe side. As your sweet potato is close to being done, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. It's been 45 minutes, so I believe our sweet potato is done. So pour it into a colander. And at this point, we can run some cool water over it. We're running cool water over it so that we can peel it, you know, otherwise it would burn you pretty badly. Okay. Now we can uh, peel it. The skin should come off pretty easily at this point. And it's because we boiled it that the skin can come off so easily. Honestly, you can really just peel it with your hands. Okay. Make sure you get off all the skin parts that you can. Okay. That looks good. Now we can mix this with our butter and our other ingredients and have the filling for our pie. Now take your sweet potato, put it in your mixing bowl. Get out all these pieces you need. And then it said break it apart. So I'm just going to use a fork to kind of break it apart. You don't have to, you know, dice it or pulverize it or anything, but just get it apart and this is going to help it mix better once we get the butter and stuff in there. Okay, the first step is to break this up and just mix it with butter for a little bit. Just says mix it well. At this point your stick of butter should be softened. Start out on a low speed, that way it doesn't fly everywhere. Okay, as you can see, it's coming together pretty well. I don't want to overdo it. It's looking pretty good. Now to this we need to add a cup of white sugar. Half a cup.
cup of milk. Two eggs, and I broke them in the measuring cup just because I didn't want to risk getting shells in this. So there's one. There's two. Then you need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. There we go. Half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And then you need a whole teaspoon of vanilla extract. Carefully pour that. Now that we've got all that in there, we just need to mix this on a medium speed until it's nice and smooth. I would start out slow again. Okay, as you can see it's coming together and it is looking pretty smooth. I don't want to mix it too much and get a lot of air in it. Okay, now that you've mixed it, you can pour our batter to a nice smooth, or the batter smooth, we can pour it into a pie crust, an unbaked pie crust. So it just kind of... As you can see, mine was a little bit chunkier than I wanted it to be, so I should have mixed a little longer, but the heat will cause it to mix a little better. Okay, once your pie crust is filled, it says to bake it in your oven preheated at 350 for 55 to 60 minutes. My oven typically runs a little hot, uh, it's always good to check on it. Now the test for this, and it's the test for a lot of pies, is you stick in a butter knife and if it comes out clean it's done. Uh, the recipe said this is going to kind of rise up some like a souffle but then settle back down as it cools. So put it in, uh, check on it probably in 45 minutes, see how it's doing and when your butter knife comes out clean it's ready to pull out. It's been a total of about 55 minutes, so let's see if the butter knife comes out clean now. Yeah, it comes out pretty clean. Uh, I think it's good now. I'm going to pull it out, let it cool down. It's going to settle as it cools and finish baking a little. settles a little, we can decorate it with some walnuts and whipped cream, and then I can dry a piece. Alright, now that I've let the sweet potato pie cool for a few hours, we can put on some decorations. Uh, first, I would cut it. So, just kind of, you know, take a knife to it.
Yep. Okay. Uh, now, the recipe I used online just kind of showed a picture. Had some walnuts on it. And then it had some dollops of whipped cream. There we go. It looks fancy, huh? It's only one thing left to do. Try it. Now, the important part of every recipe. Eating it. I'm never good at getting pies out of the container. It's good. I like it a lot. It's got sweet potato, of course, sweet potato pie, but it makes it nice and sweet. So typically, even if you're not a big fan of sweet potato, you'll probably like this sweet potato pie. Good luck. I hope you try this. Thanksgiving's just around the corner.